Hi everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva, and today I'm going to paint an acrylic alligator on a piece of old wood. This is an old fence board that I sanded. I love the roughed texture of it. So we're going to turn it into art. So this isn't a very complicated, this isn't like a super um, fancy fine art project. It's kind of, it's going to be kind of loose. That's my style of painting. So first what I'm going to do is I just have ordinary chalkboard chalk, chalk and I'm going to draw an outline. And it's just his face that I'm doing. And there's a, a hole in the in the board right there. I kind of like it. I'm leaving it. I'm not worried about it. I like the imperfections. And he's going to be somewhat whimsical. That's my style of painting. So it's just a rough outline. So I'm going to start out with, um, I just have a bunch of different greens and yellows and a little bit of white all lined up right here. So I'm going to start out with this hooker green. And I'm kind of just going to paint a base coat with the hooker green. And these are acrylic paints. I always use acrylic paints. I just find that they really go well with my style of painting. You need a lot of paint when you paint on wood like this because it soaks up the paint. Now I could I could paint a layer of gesso on here first if I wanted to, but I'm just going to go with it and get this. Someone's texting me. I'm going to get this first layer of paint on and let this paint act as my kind of primer on the board. Now I'm not painting a background because I like the rough wood. I think it goes with the rustic gator type of painting this is going to be. So and I think it has a beauty to it. So I'm not, I don't want to lose that. Okay, so I almost have it completely like a rough covering. It's not perfect. Nothing about this painting is going to be perfect. If you want perfect, you can take a photograph. But this is art and it's whimsical and it's anything but perfect. Okay, so now I think I'm going to go for a brighter green. So this green is called emerald green. Kind of go right over that darker green. Give them a little life. Now, a real life gator is not really green. So that's another way of thinking this isn't a perfect painting. But I want to paint in bright green. That's what people think of gators as being, this bright green. Sorry, someone keeps texting me. I guess I should turn that sound off. So see, I'm just kind of roughly going over it with this brighter green.
Okay, so now I think I want to lighten up parts of the green, so I'm going to use some yellow. And this is cadmium yellow deep hue. I like these uh, Liquitex Basics paints. They're a good beginner acrylic paint. If you get more into painting, you might want to spring for some some more expensive paints, but I like these. I mean, I paint same paintings that I sell with this kind of paint, and uh, you know, I haven't had anybody say, oh, you know, she used cheap paint on that. <laughs> so I'm adding the yellow in certain spots, and I'm not blending it all the way in. See, you want to see some of that yellow. And he has kind of a nostril right here, so I'm going to kind of make that nostril part of him. And then I'm going to take the yellow and kind of outline where his mouth is. And I think I'll switch to a different brush now to do that. See, it's not a perfect line. I don't want it to be perfect. But I do want it, him to make, not to make him smile, but to make people who look at him smile. Now, as acrylic paints dry, they tend to dry pretty dark. So, after it dries, I may want to come back and add some brighter paint to really kind of make him pop a little bit. Okay, so, I added the two different shades of green. Now, and the yellow, now I'm going to add just a little bit of red. Um, you can use any red. This is actually Naphthol Crimson, um, and this is a heavy body paint. You don't need heavy body paint, it's just the one I grabbed. And I'm going to give him a red little highlight, like up there. Kind of where his eyebrow is, where his nostril is. I don't really want to do it around his mouth because I think it would look like he's been eating something. I don't want him to be gruesome. But just here and there, I'm giving him some little, little dots of red. Now I'm going to try, um, he's looking kind of dark right here and I want it to lighten up a little bit so I'm going to try this brilliant yellow green and let's see what happens. You know you can be an artist but you don't have to be a fancy artist. I wouldn't call myself a fancy artist. I um, like teaching. Okay, that's pretty bright. I think this would be a good one. This um, yellow green is probably um, would be better 
to blend with another color because it's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to add some of the emerald green to it and just brighten up the emerald green. I didn't really have a plan for this painting. It's just very loose and I'm just adding color where I feel like it needs color. And you see my brush strokes are just very... Um, I'm holding the brush away from... I was about to say canvas, away from my piece of wood. And his eye is going to go right there, so I don't want to put it right there where his eye is going to be. And using your fingers is always a good plan. Okay, so now I'm going to try see if I can get some white out of this tube. I'm just going to put a little bit of white on the brush and I'm going to do kind of a eye shape here. It's kind of blending with the greens that are on there. That's okay. I kind of want to make his eye kind of long. And I kind of want to give him kind of a a cat eye. So I'm just kind of dotting this up and down. So I gave him the eye in, in yellow, kind of a cat eye look. Now I'm going to add a little smidgen of red in that eye. I don't know if you know much about real alligators, but if you shine a light on alligators in the wild, they, um, and from, if you're, you know, on a boat at night and you shine a light and there's an alligator there, um, the light shines red. That's why I want to put a little red in there, because even though it's not a perfect painting, I want to give him a few little realities. So now I'm going to take some white and kind of go over the line of his mouth. Now, you can wait for these each one of these steps and you could let the paint dry. And then you won't have a problem with the paint smearing or blending together these paint colors. But you know I'm impatient. So I'm going to give him some little teeth now. It's just a little triangle here and there.
Okay, so there's a teeth. I'm going to add a little more white into his eye. Okay, he's getting close to where I want him to be. I'm kind of liking him. Um, I could sometimes go on and on for hours with painting like this, but I'm not going to make you watch me for hours. Um, I mean, it's just about where I like him, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do some outlining now. I'm an outliner. Um, I think it adds to the whimsy of a painting to do a little dark outline in a painting. So I'm going to add some of that. And I'm going to use, this isn't artist paint, this is craft paint. The reason I like it is because it's very thin. And I like um, paint, when I'm outlining something, I like it to be very thin. Okay, so I'm going to give him just kind of a broken line. I'm not going to outline the whole thing. going to go around him just where I feel like he needs a little emphasis. My outline isn't super thin. using the finest brush. Sometimes I do use a really fine brush for outlining, but um, I didn't think it was necessary for this one. It's, it's really rough, like an alligator should be. He just thinks he's so tough. Give him a little extra emphasis on his little bumpy parts. And I think I'll do a few little crisscross lines down here. And I think I'll give his teeth a little kind of line on one side. And I think he's about done. So, um, this was Cajun DIY Diva. Um, I thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.